two full days of eating as a nutritionist and also a French person, an intuitive eater, a vegetarian, and also as someone who doesn't want to spend five hours making a meal look incredible but still wants it to taste good and also wants to get the best nutrition out of it. My what I eat in a day videos are the ones that you guys like the most and request the most so I thought I would give you what you wanted again but I wanted to thank Am Z Chef for sponsoring this video. I will be talking about them a little bit more later on. As usual, these meals don't represent what I have every single day. It's just to give you some idea about the types of things that I may be eating throughout the week. Like I said, I'm an intuitive eater and I really listen to my body and some days I'm much hungrier than others. Some days I really just want to eat, some days I just don't feel like eating that much and I really try to honor that. And if you look at multiple of my what I eat in a day, so you'll probably see that the, the amount of food I eat really varies from day to day. And again, that's with the intuitive eating thing. For breakfast, I had some whole wheat toast with some hazelnut butter and some frozen raspberries that I popped in the microwave. That was a pretty light breakfast. I wasn't very hungry and I had lunch not too soon after, maybe like three hours after. For lunch, I had a bunch of leftovers, some lentils, some couscous with chickpeas, some falafels, a zucchini omelet, and some green beans. For dinner, I'm making a big salad, so the basis of that are some spinach leaves and then I'm cutting up a bunch of fruit and veggies to go with that because I really love to mix in the salty with the sweet. I had already pre-cut the strawberries a few days before because they were starting to be a little bit rotten so I had to take care of that. And I'm also making some couscous with some chickpeas. I always have this, it's super easy and I'm also adding some nuts to that. Um, and this is whole wheat um, couscous and that way I'm getting a bunch of fiber and protein. For some reason that looks super small on my plate, but it's actually a pretty big plate. I don't know why my plates make everything look small. And here I am having a tiny second helping. I do this when I feel physically full, but I still feel like I want to have that taste in my mouth and I want to be a little bit more emotionally satisfied. And that's totally fine to do. You don't have to listen to only your physical hunger. 
So for breakfast, I'm making a smoothie and I'm using this blender from Amzy Chef, which is specialized in selling kitchen appliances such as blenders, induction cookers, juicers, meat grinders, and more. So I currently use their blender to make my morning smoothies and I totally love it. I actually used to have another blender which broke and actually thank goodness it did because this one is so much better. So you just saw me put in a bunch of different ingredients in here, so some vanilla soy milk, some some oats, some spinach, and I usually use fresh spinach, but I was out, so I just had frozen spinach. I also put in a banana and some hazelnut butter and some frozen raspberries. And I put some flax seeds, add a little bit more milk. I really like this because it has a bunch of different settings so you can just press the one you want and just let it do its thing. So there's a setting to crush ice, one to make a smoothie, one to grind if you want to grind meat or make nut powder, and one to juice if you want to make yourself a nice detox juice which won't detox you at all, you know, but it just has good nutrients and good taste. There's also different speeds and a pulse mode as well. Only see us in our dreams, I'm outside So surprise, surprise, I'm using the smoothie setting here and I just press that and just let it let it roll and the only downside this blender has is that it makes so much noise but I mean that's acceptable for, for a blender I guess It also comes with this convenient little tool if you need to Give a little extra push to the mixture if something is stuck. This is my smoothie. It's pretty thick. I could have used it as a smoothie bowl base. And I know it doesn't look good, but it was absolutely delicious and extremely filling. It's because of the spinach that gives it this disgusting color. Then my favorite part of this blender is that it pretty much cleans itself. You just have to fill it up halfway with water and then add some dish soap. And then you just slowly turn up the speed. And then slowly turn it back down. And then you just have to rinse it and that's it. And it also comes with a little recipe book to help you get started if you have no idea what to what to use it for, so that's awesome. So if you're interested in trying it out, they gave me a discount code for you, so make sure to check out the links to their products in the description. And thank you, MZ Chef again, for sponsoring this portion of the video. For lunch, I'm making some simple avocado toast, so cutting up an already brown avocado, but it was still good. Then I add just some salt and pepper to it, and I spread it on two pieces of whole wheat toast. And I had some falafels on the side, as well as some green beans. I wish that I could give you all the feelings that I'm feeling, but I have a feeling that would be a cheat. Don't cheat. Floating down the river, flying with a flock of ravens, laying low by the fireplace, warming up your feet. <sighs> Ecstatic, electric, deep with great legs, back tingle, goosebumps, and after gap leap. Yeah. How can I be of service? Found a calling and a purpose. Please let us take a seat so I can pour you some tea. And nothing about it, crowded, singular, not the legion, doubting, bigger the mountain, better the climb, older the tree, richer the vine, leaving the steep and giving the brew a 
proper treatment mean that patience makes a perfect love Not too bitter, not too weak, that's what's up It gets better with age, letters ripen on the page Wonders never cease, I wander in the maze Not afraid, but amazed how the globe is so crazy Sipping on this tea, I stay unfazed When it rains, it pours, when it shines, I pour When I pour my cup, runneth over, I endure My cup running empty, no worries For dinner, I'm making one of my favorite salads The base is quinoa And then I chop up a bunch of different fruit and vegetables and I also add some hummus to that so you'll see how that goes a more for you we are never poor never have been never will be still is the leaves from the bottom of my cup bottoms up tea drunk love it when you drink with me I've done all sorts of drugs need a one now one replaces love the older that I get the simpler it becomes I'd rather be aware than numb Wake up. How many times will my mind succumb? Stuck on repeat, expecting a new outcome. Beggar disposition, bottom out, poured out the doubt. Now you say that I live for fail. Yes. Spill a little bit for good. With the quinoa, I added leftover semolina and chickpeas from the night before. And so I added celery, I added a green apple, I added some pomegranate that usually I buy fresh and I cut it myself but this time I was lazy so I bought it already pre-cut and then some cashews then I added some lemon juice and topped it off with hummus same thing usually I make my own hummus but I was really really in a rush that evening so I had some store bought hummus that was also good So that's it for my meals of these two days. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some ideas. Let me know if you liked these videos and would like to see more. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.